Hey there, YouTubers. All right, back again. Another unlimited power video. All right, so uh, refresher. We're inside Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility. This is the spot where yours truly changes from the default for PL1, which is 65 watts, turbo push power max. Okay, you forget. It's right here. 65 watts, 224 for PL2. Okay, turbo boost short power max. So those are what the defaults are. And I go in and I adjust this all the way out to unlimited. Boom. So those are the two uh, scenarios we run. 65, 224, and unlimited, unlimited. All right. You saw in the benchmark that there was some improvement, uh, considerable improvement at two out of three of the benchmarks. The other, for whatever reason, I can tell you why, uh, did not show any improvement. Fast forward. Uh, I promised I would do something on uh, video editing and as well as gaming. Well, the gaming video uh, is taking me longer to do, and I'm not going to go into details in this video why that is, but uh, we're working on it. So here we are, video editing. I've done similar videos to this and thought, you know what, this will be a really easy place to do this. Uh, and since it's free, I'm using HitFilm Express 14. So... Uh, let's go check that out. All right. So we've talked about this. What I'm gonna, what happens in the settings? Hopefully you guys understand that. Make sure you have a decent CPU cooler. Uh, as somebody has told me, you know, it's probably not gonna damage the uh, CPU, uh, but you know, thermal throttling will come on, and you're gonna lose some of the effects of of what you're trying to gain here. So a good CPU cooler is beneficial. Hit Film Express. All right, what do we see here? Well, over here is the media I'm bringing in to edit. Okay, this happens to be, I don't know if I've released it yet, Benchmark 4K 60 FPS video for uh, Far Cry New Dawn. All right, so basically uh, this, I don't know how many minutes this video was, but uh, I am shortening it to 100 seconds, okay? Why 100 seconds? I like to do these as a hundred seconds so at times I can do a ratio and compare them easily to other uh, runs I've done but in this case what we do is we've dropped it on here we're editing out everything but a hundred seconds I then hit the export button export button here uh, to contents and that actually would bring it up here it does the processing and at this point I stopped touching the computer right not doing anything and you see we have six runs up here if you count those three runs a piece so when I say three runs a piece three runs PL1 65 PL2 224 three runs unlimited unlimited all right now did I do them uh, you know three of those and three of the other no I did not uh, and I'll, I'll get into that in a second. All right, so exported it, popped up here, and the first run is actually 65 watts in 224. You see that time, 514. I then said, you know what, let me uh, bump this up to unlimited. I ran that five minutes, okay? So I was like, whoa, that's a pretty good uh, savings in time. I decided to run it again, you know, hey, maybe it's heating up, let's see. I run it again, 457, so three seconds saved. At this point, I thought, well, why not switch back to 65? So I did that really quick, and then we got 510. So uh, this time is obviously greater, and but it is less than the initial run of 514. So from there, I let things cool off. I run it again, 65 watts, 517. I then uh, switch to unlimited, and we get 502. So I actually let it cool off a little bit longer there. Now I could have done these, you know, six eight shots, uh, and maybe this this first one we would we would throw out because it was really cool. But uh, that's that's how I rein these together. Okay, now. Regardless if that's the best way, uh, it does prove that unlimited 
saves you time on here, okay? So if you average the 65 watts, 514, 510, 517, that averages out close to 513 to 514, okay? Unlimited, if we average 5 minutes, 457, and 502 out, that averages about 5 minutes. So right there, you're saving on uh, just this 100 seconds, you are save 100 second clip of processing, you're saving about 13 to 14 seconds, okay? Now, what does that add up to? Um, that's, uh, what, three, three to three seconds quicker, okay? About three seconds quicker. And that could be substantial um, if you're doing this. And I don't mean, you know, just one, one 20 minute video. I'm talking about day after day doing video editing, 4K, uh, saving, you know, three seconds. Uh, obviously, saving you know, 30%, 50% would be really impressive. But, uh, you know, for something like this where you just put a better CPU cooler on it and change some settings, uh, this this is actually pretty cool. So I don't know that this is going to work for every software. Um, HitFilm Express is, you know, optimized, I believe, for uh, not only NVIDIA video cards, but I believe Intel CPU. So, um for this, you know, it's it looks it looks good. Okay, would it have been nice if there was a huger increase uh, or difference between the two? Yeah, but the mere fact that it there is a uh, a visible difference makes me believe that it is worth changing to unlimited for PL1 and PL2 inside your BIOS or using Intel Extreme Utility. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.